Herein was the love of God manifested in us, that God hath sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. O Lord, open thou our lips, O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Yea, even unto thee do I call. Help me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. Early in the morning do I cry unto thee, for in thy word is my trust. Mine eyes rose up before the night watches, that I might be occupied in thy word. They draw nigh that of malice persecute me, and are far from thy law. Be thou nigh at hand, O Lord, for all thy commandments are true. As concerning thy testimonies I have known long since, that thou hast grounded them forever. Avenge thou my cause and deliver me. Quicken me according to thy word. Help this far from the ungodly, for they regard not thy statutes. Great is thy mercy, O Lord. Quicken me as thou art wont. Many there are that trouble me and persecute me. Yet do I not swerve from my testimonies. It grieveth me when I see the transgressors, because they keep not thy law. Consider, O Lord, how I love thy commandments. O quicken me according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from everlasting. All the judgments of thy righteousness endure forevermore. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When thou hast persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I am as glad of thy word as one that findeth great spoils. As for lies, I hate and abhor them, but thy law. Seven times a day do I praise thee, because of thy righteous judgments. Great is the peace that they have who love thy law, and they have no occasion of stumbling. Lord, I have looked for thy saving help, and done after thy commandments. I have kept thy commandments and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. Let my complaint come before thee, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall speak of thy praise, when thou hast taught me thy statutes. Yea, 
my tongue shall sing of thy word, for all thy commandments are righteous. I have longed for thy saving help, O Lord, and in thy law is my delight. Oh, let my soul live, and it shall praise thee, and thy judgments shall help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. O oh, seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here beginneth the seventh verse of the fourth chapter of the Book of Wisdom. But though the righteous be prevented with death, yet shall he be in rest. For honorable age is not that which standeth in length of time, nor that is measured by number of years. But wisdom is the gray hair unto men, and an unspotted life is old age. He pleased God and was beloved of him, so that living among sinners he was translated. Yea, speedily he was taken away, lest that wickedness should alter his understanding or deceit beguile his soul. For the bewitching of naughtiness doth obscure things that are honest, and the wandering of concupiscence doth undermine the simple mind. He, being made perfect in a short time, fulfilled a long time, for his soul pleased the Lord. Therefore hasted he to take him away from among the wicked. This the people saw and understood it not, neither laid they up this in their minds, that his grace and mercy is with his saints and that he hath respect unto his chosen. Here endeth the first lesson.
Stephen saw the heaven set open, he saw and did intervene. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For he called from heaven's forth, all generations shall call me blessed, for he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on them that fear him. Throughout all generations, he has shown it strength with his arms. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their seat and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He remembering his mercy, hath opened his servant his right hand, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without him. Amen. Here beginneth the 59th verse of the seventh chapter of the Acts of the Apostles. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. And Saul was consenting unto his death. And at that time there was a great persecution against the church which was at Jerusalem, and they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial and made great lamentation over him. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering into every house and hailing men and women, committing them to prison. 
Therefore they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies, and that were lame, were healed. And there was great joy in that city. Here endeth the second lesson. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people, Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. <clears throat> Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen o lord show thy mercy upon us and grant us our salvation o lord save the state Into thy ministers with righteousness. And to make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, make clean our hearts within us. And to take thy Holy 
For and we beseech the O Lord so to imitate that which we honor, that we may learn to love also our enemies. For as much as we celebrate the birthday of him who prayed even for his persecutors to our Lord Jesus Christ thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Merciful Lord, cast thy bright beams of light upon thy church, that it, being lightened by the doctrine of thy blessed apostle and evangelist John, may attain to thy everlasting gifts. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Almighty and everlasting God, direct us in all our doings according to thy good pleasure, that we, serving thee in the name of thy well-beloved Son, may it worthily abound in good works, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Defend us, we beseech thee, O Lord, from all perils of mind and body. And at the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mary, the ever-Virgin Mother of God, of blessed Joseph, of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, of blessed Gregory, and of all thy saints, graciously bestow upon us both peace and safety, that all adversity and error being done away, Thy church may serve thee in untroubled freedom. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now, as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by holy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the world. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, to give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, 
and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Praise be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The reading from the Martyrology for the 27th day of December. At Ephesus, the birthday of St. John, apostle and evangelist, who after writing his gospel suffered banishment and composing the divine apocalypse, survived even to the time of Trajan, founded and ruled churches all over Asia, and worn out with old age, died in the 68th year after the Lord's Passion, and is buried near the city. At Constantinople, the holy confessors Theodore and Theophanes, brothers who were brought up from childhood in the monastery of St. Sabas. They strove zealously against Leo the Armenian in defense of the veneration of holy images, and by his command were beaten with sticks and sent into exile. After his death, they again bravely resisted the emperor Theophilus, who continued the same impiety, and were again scourged and driven into exile. There Theodore died in prison, but Theophanes, when peace was at length restored to the church, became Bishop of Nicaea, and famous for his glorious witness for the faith, rested in the Lord. At Alexandria, St. Maximus, Bishop, well known and renowned for his confession. At Constantinople, St. Nicerus, Virgin, who flourished in holiness under the Emperor Arcadius and elsewhere many other holy martyrs, confessors, and virgins. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. In our prayers, we remember before God, John, our Patriarch, Joseph, our Metropolitan, our Bishops, Basil, Thomas, Alexander, John, Anthony, and Nicholas. We pray for the clergy and people of the parishes and missions of the Western Rite Vicariate. We ask God's blessing upon our congregation named in honor of St. Gregory. We pray for the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, remembering especially the Patriarch Irene, the Archbishop David, Levitt, Allen, and Fudeco. We pray for an end to the pandemic. We pray for all medical workers. We pray for the sick, the suffering, and those in need, especially William, Lucy, Jennifer, David, Teresita, Chris, Love, John, Joyce, Warren, Nancy, Marion, Karen, and James. We pray for all catechumens, especially Unexus, Gianna, Kathleen, and Daniel. We pray for those in the armed forces and all in civil authority. We pray for all missionaries and all monastics. We pray for peace in the Middle East and throughout the world. Gracious Mother of our Redeemer, Forever abiding, heaven's gateway, and star of ocean, O succor the people, who though falling, strive to rise again, 
Ah. 